Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Benger, and I'm here today to talk to you about vices. Yep, that's right, we all have them. So what are we gonna do? First, I would just say a vice is something that we do that sometimes we know is not a healthy behavior, and especially when we do it without moderation. Things like maybe um, drinking that second or third glass of wine or eating that extra, maybe one or more cookies than we know we need to, or binge, walk binge watching Netflix for a little too long. Things that in themselves are not bad in, in moderation on occasion, but sometimes can get overdone. So I'm just gonna talk to you about a couple of things you can do to help you make more empowered decisions when you're, when you're faced with the decision to do some of these behaviors. The first thing I want you to do is to pause before you make your choice and think to yourself, ask yourself what it is that you're feeling. Maybe you're feeling lonely, maybe you're feeling bored, or maybe you're just really stressed and overwhelmed. So just write that down. And then think about what is the unmet need, emotional need, that is behind that feeling? You know, what is, what is causing that feeling? So if you're feeling lonely, it might be that you are not getting a sense of connection or belonging. You're not, getting a, you're not feeling those um, connection with people. If you're feeling bored, it might be that you need to, your, your sense of a need to have fun or be creative aren't being met. Or if you're feeling stressed, your need to be at ease and um, relax is not being met. So once you've kind of decided what, what is going on, then you can also ask yourself, what is it that I need? What is, the, what is it that I can do about this? So for example, if you're feeling lonely and you're not feeling connected, maybe what you can do is make some extra effort to make some phone calls to some friends or you know, pre-arrange pre some, some phone calls or some Zoom calls because um, more and more of us are feeling lonely and isolated these days with the circumstances. So we have to be even more intentional around doing things to help us feel connected and um, to, our, to our loved ones, to our friends and family. Or maybe we're feeling bored, you know, a lot of the things that we used to do, we are able to do um, more easily, we aren't able to do now. Um, so, you know, it might be that we're feeling just kind of bored and so thinking about what are some creative projects that I could do that I've wanted to do, um, what, that I can do safely. <laughs> and then thinking about also if you're feeling um, stressed and that's what's motivating some of your other behaviors, thinking and taking some time to think, what, what can I do? What have I done in the past to help me relax? Um, and, and, and just taking a moment to, to take that inventory of what am I feeling What's the unmet need and what is an alternative? And even if you don't make the decision to, maybe you decide you're still gonna watch three hours of Netflix, you know, or you're gonna have that second or third glass of wine. It's more about taking the moment to have the awareness of what's going on so that maybe the next time you can make a more empowered choice that is gonna be more sustainable for your health. So I know that these times are more challenging than usual and a lot of us are struggling with a lot of these concepts or a lot of these feelings more than usual. And so just really being kind to yourself and recognizing that this is the case and doing some things to help safeguard um, and meet some of those needs that are being unmet and not making decisions that are not going to be good for long term. So if you're interested in some of these concepts that I've talked about and you'd like to discuss them more, have some help strategizing ways to um, make more empowered choices, I'd love to see you in my office. Uh, to make an appointment, you can call 860-674-0111. Look forward to seeing you soon.